student in this session we are going to start the new topic which is the forms of verb there are five forms of verb the base form the s form the simple past form the ing form the past participle form okay students that's it for today's class we have studied the base form which is the sole form of verb the s form which we include suffixes to the form to use it in the to use it with the third part to use it with the third person singular the simple past form which we use in the past sentences the ing form which we use in the continuous sentences the past participle form which we use with the perfect tenses okay student we will dig into the detail of the forms of verb the first was the base form as we as, as i have told you that the base form is the root form with no ending attached to it it functions in the simple present forms when we talk about the forms of verb the forms of verb changes their forms according to the tenses they are used in for the simple form we use the base form it functions in the simple present forms for all persons and numbers for example i love coffee or alina and falak goes to school the next form is the s form in this the suffixes are attached the suffixes would be s e s i e s it is used in the third person singular like she goes to school if there would be he instead of she then the es suffix should be attached attached to the verb okay some more detail for the forms of verb is number 3 we have the past simple form the past simple form like its name it is used in the past simple tenses they can be regular or irregular the regular form is added with ed each regular form is added ed to the base form to make it the simple past form the irregular one is totally different from the base form like i went to school and for the regular the example is i loved coffee the base form love the ed suffix is added to it to make it to the to make it the past simple form okay the number third form of verb we have the ing form the ing form is used in the continuous sentences to make the sentences to make the simple sentences continuous we we add the suffix ing to the base form to make to put it in the continuous tenses we use helping verbs before them helping verbs can be is am are was were had have has uh will be shall be etc the example for the ing form is i am eating chocolate in this sentence am is used the helping verb am is used before the ing form which is the eating now moving on to the next form of verb the past participle form the past participle form in is used in the perfect tenses and also the helping verbs are used before them the helping verbs can be have uh, had has and they can be also regular and irregular the regular form is same as the past simple form and the base form but the irregular form is totally different from the base form and the past simple form like the example is given here i had gone to school gone is the past participle form of go and therefore the regular example i loved coffee ed is added to it which is same as the past simple form assalam alaikum student in this session we are going to start the new topic which is the forms of verb there are five forms of verb the base form the s form the simple past form the ing form the past participle form okay students that's it for today's class we have studied the base form which is the sole form of verb 
the S form, which we include suffixes to the form to use it with the third person singular. The simple past form, which we use in the past sentences. The ing form, which we use in the continuous sentences. The past participle form, which we use with the perfect tenses. Okay, for the next topic of us will be adverbs. To learn more, stay tuned with us. Allah Hafiz.